Good morning, Merry Christmas. Hope you're all gonna have an absolute fantastic day. The kettle's on, the Christmas jumper's on. Uh, we're gonna kickstart the day, open some prezzies, and then we've been invited to my niece and her partners for Christmas dinner. And it's gonna be extra special this year because their daughter, Lily, it's her first Christmas. So let's crack on with the day. Hey, gorgeous. Merry Christmas. Go, Marza. Happy Thank Christmas. You. Thank you, darling. There's yours. Ooh. Right, what we got in here? Ernie, you can get out of there. That's my stocking. Cool, I bet these will smell nice. Spiced apple and cinnamon candles. Lovely. <laughs> like that? Oh, I love it. <laughs> cool, these will be interesting to try. Guinness flavoured chocolates. Yum. Oh. Oh. Like it? Show the camera, Marza. Cheers, Marza. Hey, Baba. Christmas crazy. Lick mat. Put you some food on there. Do you like it? <laughs> hey. You got me this to daddy. Happy Thank Christmas, you. daddy. You got me, Baba. Oh, wow, a new wallet. Thank you. Give this one to mummy. Thank you. Thank you, darling. Thank you, dice. Thank you, dice. Oh, lovely. Darling, a lovely new purse. Ernie, that ain't safe. Are you quite comfortable, mister? Right, well that's all the prezzies done. We're both very lucky as usual. Um, the other day we popped to see my auntie to give her her gifts. I'll insert the photo now. So I'm now gonna get in the shower, we're both gonna get ourselves sorted, and then we're gonna head up to see the family. So we'll see you on the road. Right, we're now at my niece's. Let the festivities begin. <laughs> Oh, look at that! Look at you! Beautiful! Oh. Here we go for your first Christmas! Thank you! Wow! She loves ducks. <laughs> I got a schnooky. So <laughs> schnooky. <laughs> I needed some nicer silver earrings. That's a hit, clever. Jaw <laughs> cereal. That's oh, so cool. My, oh, my best oh, friend. How you cute is that? <laughs> Oh, he's lovely, Bum Bum. He's soft, isn't he? 
Yay! Her little shoes on there. Oh my god. Oh, let's say, oh, that's lovely. Oh, how gorgeous is that? That's right, my mum. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, that is absolutely Very good. Got <laughs> oh, what have we got here? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Ladybird's first favourite nursery rhyme. See what else we've got. I've done our book that you're very interested in. Aren't you? Oh. Oh, thank you, What's big that, nanny. Really? Oh, that's oh, lovely. Oh, look, a new track Very nice. Suit. You'll look cute in that, won't you? Oh, Liam, that is so awesome. Make Sick of them. having to hold it with the knee. Holding the cat the bra. Oh, it's all going on in the kitchen. Honey roast parsnips, which are going in the air fryer. Turkey and ham is being carved. Gravy boat, gravy boat. We are ready for lunch. I'm starving. This is the head chef. Right, here's our spread. <laughs> Turkey, gammon, Yorkshire puds, roasties, homemade stuffing, pigs in blankets, honey roast parsnips, cauliflower cheese, loads of veggies and extra gravy. That was a lovely time around my nieces, as usual. I feel absolutely stuffed, such a delicious dinner, and I love the fact it was carvery style. That's gonna wrap it up for today, and we'll see you tomorrow for Boxing Day. Morning, guys, it's now Boxing Day. Hope you all had a cracking Christmas day. Had a lovely time at my nieces. Lots of yummy food, and we're both very lucky with some nice prezzies, but we thought we'd kickstart the day off today by having a nice walk in the countryside and then uh, we're gonna head home and have some croissants with bacon, egg and cheese in. So look forward to those. But I think we're gonna do about a three, four mile loop. Try and walk off some of that Christmas dinner for yesterday. It is an absolutely gorgeous morning. Not a bit cold. It's currently about half 10. Seen quite a few walkers about actually. Seems strange seeing all the campsites empty now. I'm sure it won't be long before they start filling up again in the new year. Now heading in this little overgrown section. Brings us out into more fields with some really lovely views. Don't know if we'll see the train. We'll soon we catch my hat through here. Yeah, you've got to be careful walking through here, you don't trip on any roots on the ground. Me and Marza have both done that in the past. Gorgeous sunshine. We're now at the train crossing. Always make sure you check the lights on green before you cross. If you head that way, you go into Chroma. And if you head that way, you head to Norwich or it splits off to Sheringham. Just hang five here, just in case the train comes past. Always quite cool to see it from here because you're up really close. No, don't look like we're going to see the train. I mean, I don't know how regular it's actually running today, being box today, or you know, they might be on strike because there's a lot of that going on at the minute. But we're going to carry on our journey.
I'm not sure if you can actually walk across this field. We have seen like a little trail, but I think it's just more for the cattle, cattle to graze on. Are we gonna carry on up this little roadway? Anything in here? Nope. Lovely little cottages nestled amongst all this countryside. We're going to try and head up this little pathway here but it's normally, if we had a lot of rain, this bit is normally really really boggy but it doesn't actually look too bad today, I think we might get away with it. Looks like they've had it all grind off somehow. Yeah. That was all nothing but sheet and mud. Yeah, this is normally like a pond on here. Yeah. Yeah, now we're approaching this little gate, you can see us quite dabby through this bit. Tell you what, walking through this section, you'd think that was the middle of the summer. The sun is proper shining through them trees. It's actually quite warm. This is a really nice camping site. I think it's part of the camping and motorhome club or something like that. And all these here are normally like glamping tents. Always quite fancied staying in one of them, which would be quite a laugh. And then obviously you get all your motorhomes all around here. There's a little shop up there where you can buy refreshments and ice creams and stuff. We actually did that a couple of summers ago. Another shot of the site. There's the entrance through here. If you are staying here, it's a looks really, really peaceful area. You're about 20 minute walk into Chroma. Um, about 10 minutes into East Runton. Actually sat outside that one there with an ice cream. I had a Solero. Right, well, that's going to complete our little country walk. Um, we're now going to start heading back. I think we worked out time we get home. We've done about five miles. That's not too bad. So uh, we'll see you when we're cooking up a storm with our omelettes with um, croissants, bacon and cheese. See you back home. Right, we're now back from our country stroll. There was loads of people walking about, probably walking off that Christmas pud from yesterday, I imagine. But we're now gonna crack on and do these breakfast style croissants. You all right? <laughs> this yummy goodness is nearly ready for serving up. There you go, these are gonna be delicious. They're absolutely stacked to the rafters. I just add some sauce with them. You can't have any of that croissant, Bubba. I have to say that croissant with that omelette in it was absolutely delicious. Definitely worth trying out if you've not had them before. Right, I think I'm going to wrap this weekend up, guys. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas day and a fun boxing day. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.